Welcome to another In the Mood to Scrap video presented by Two Peas in a Bucket. My name is Jana Werner and I am a washi tape addict. The mood board I created includes different colors and patterns of washi tape. And I want to use it on the top of my page, but I also want to create little tags like those you can see on the bottom right corner of the mood board. I think they look very cute. You just cut tags and then you add a bit of washi tape to them. Now here you can see how it looks like on the finished page. I have washi tape on the top and I have the tags with washi tape in the middle part of my layout. Before I start showing you how I created this page, I'd like to show you a few of the materials that I'm using. I'm using washi tape. That's not a big surprise. But I have different kind of washi tapes. I have the tapes and I have the crate paper washi tape which is like a sticker. It's a big sheet, it's a 12 by 12 sheet and it has different patterns and you can just cut it with a paper trimmer or your scissors and then you can use it just like any other washi tape. I also gathered paper. These are from Teresa Collins, Lily B Design and L Studio. I have a few tags and stamps by L Studio and thickers from American Crafts. And a few more tools and supplies like punches, dies, paper, glue, stamps and a tag. You can create super funky embellishments with washi tape. You see I have a parchment paper, a piece of parchment paper here and I'm going to add washi tape, stripes of washi tapes on top of it. And you always have to stick them a bit on top of each other because they won't stick to the parchment paper. You can take them off later and use them like any other sticker. But if you don't put those stripes on top of each other, of course they will not come off as one piece. Just use a few different stripes and then you can take a punch and punch out either a circle, a heart, whatever. Make sure to put a piece of paper beneath the parchment paper because it is too thin. So the punch would destroy the parchment paper and your embellishment in that case. Now you can see, you can peel off the parchment paper. And then you have a nice sticker with washi tape. And you can just use any washi tape and you have so many ways of creating a cool pattern. Very easy. Another way to create such an embellishment sticker with washi tape is using dies and it's exactly the same like you just saw with the punches. You put stripes of washi tape on top of each other on a piece of parchment paper and then you would use the die in your, in your big shot cuddle book or whatever and punch out a shape that you want to use on your scrapbooking page. So here you see I have the stripes and a die that I want to use and this is how it looks like in the end. And You can use the negative and the positive. Before I start adhering my self-made embellishments I'm going to create the page and I used washi tape on top, the neon one and this is also washi tape. This is the one from Create Paper that I was talking about earlier. You can just pull it off and add it to the page and it's a bit transparent so you will see the the ground the paper or the washi tape in this case that is beneath it if you have seen a few of my videos you probably know what comes next i put all the embellishments and papers and everything that i want to use on top of my page and i move things around until i'm happy with the appearance and here are the tags I cut very small tags from cardstock and I cut the circles that I created into two pieces and now I just put them on top of the page and have a look in which way I want to adhere them later although I'm a huge fan of white cardstock as a base I decided to use another paper because it was just a bit too boring 
And this is from El Studio, definitely one of my most favorite papers ever. I just love the stripes. And it has this cute, I love you and love you to the moon and back sentences on top and on, on the bottom part of the paper. And now you see I have the tags and now I will sew on them to give a shabby look and appearance to the page. I did this a bit like a garland and I will put the twine beneath the tags. You can see it here now. So it is not too messy in the end. I really love the neon of the page but it's a bit too much and I have um, red in the picture and that might be too harsh if it's pink and red and so I decided to add another piece of paper on top of the page. So I go through my stash and now I take out every piece of paper, every embellishment that I think might fit. This does not mean that I really use it in the end, but I don't mind cutting um, embellishments or papers. I will use them at some point if I don't use them now, so I don't hesitate. If I think it is worth trying out, I will just cut it. I have a box where I store all those cuts and things that I don't use and sometimes it's um, really nice to have this box because you can add something that you might not have thought of because it's in your box, in your surprise box. So I highly recommend having boxes like that where you just store the things that you didn't use or maybe it's just a scrap or something but it's your favorite paper and you don't want to throw it away so just store it in your box. And here I'm adding more circles to um, highlight highlighten the part on the left side and to emphasize that part. The right side is rather straight, it does not have any circles. And you see that I stamped on the picture. I will not use this photo in the end because I just did not like the stamped uh, the stamped words because it was too much. I really love the stamp. It's from L Studio, but it just did not fit. It was too dark, and so in the end, you would see that I printed that photo again and did not stamp on it. I have this top stripe. This is the I don't know how you call it the this advertisement strip on each paper where it is with the names and uh, the brands. And this is from L Studio. And on the other side, they have those cute little tags on it, as you can see here now. And this is of course just uh, you can't throw this away. You need to use it. It's so super cute. And I decided to add it on top of the page. I'm adding a few more tags and I have this circle which is a scrap and I glue it down. It's very thin and lets the part appear a bit lighter. I use the Amy Tangerine stamp for the date stamp and I cut this piece out from a Teresa Collins paper. I'm gluing down the elements and uh, this uh, wood veneer is from Prima Marketing, it's a little house and there are different shapes of that house, really sweet. And the stripe wood stamp is from Prima as well. I'm adding a bit more stitching for the shabby look. And now you can see that I changed the entire right bottom part on the photo. I moved the wooden house to the left side onto one of the tags and printed the photo another time and added the thickers on top of the photo. The thickers, they are with glimmer, they shimmer in the sunshine, that's really, really sweet touch to the page. And that's it. And you see, although I did not intend to use the colors of the mood board, I did and I think that's very fun because I love the colors. They are spring-like and after months of snow and darkness out there, I really am ready for spring. I don't know about you, but I really am. 
So we have different patterns of washi tape and colors and we used the washi tape in different ways on this page and this is my challenge for you. Create a scrapbooking page using washi tape in any way. Come up with your own ideas if you add one or two, if you create shapes, if you cut them by hand with dies or punches, no matter what, just incorporate washi tape in your scrapbooking page. Have a lot of fun. See you soon. Bye bye.